When you grow up somewhere, you have a relationship to the land that is quite undeniable if you're lucky enough. Am I part of the land? Is the land part of me? I'm not sure. At the age of 50-something, I came down to Hawke's Bay to inherit my little bit of family land, and it was five very large paddocks and five troughs. My daughter and I, we are a team. She came down and joined me six years ago. I couldn't run the place without her. We ride on the farm because we have to do our mustering and we have a lot of horses so we teach riding at the same time. I think I was five or six when I first started riding up great big hills with my father and the pony wasn't altogether ritzy either. It occasionally dumped me at the ditch at the bottom before it galloped up the hill. It's quite empowering for women I think as well, knowing how to do up buckles and hitch on horse floats and lots of things like that. People say to me, oh, you're awfully fit. And I say, well, that's because I've run around like a mountain goat. I did say to a riding pupil, Dad, oh, I'll probably die at 11 o'clock at night with my bucket, with my face in a bucket full of horse feed. And he said, yeah, but you love it, don't you? When I fenced the bottom paddock into proper horse facilities, my father said, oh, what an awful pity to muck up that good hay paddock. I mean, in my life, I had actually been overseas, been a mother, been a restaurant owner, spoke four languages, loved music, loved dancing, and what my family wanted to paint me as was a kind of a horse nut. Well, they're starting to listen a little bit more now because we're having lots of fun. I've probably taught hundreds of children to ride now. The skill, the knowledge, and then the attitude. And that's a huge, rich development for lots of people. We try and get to a range of softness when we're riding that the horses are actually bold of their own accord. So you can learn quite a lot from just not being pushy. The child was chasing the butterfly. He chased it all morning and then he sat down and he was exhausted and the butterfly came and sat on his shoulder. You know, it's a bit like that, that life can unfold for you rather than grabbing it and wrestling it. That's part of the horse thing, I think.